Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spain on Fork today. I'm in such a great mood because we have such an amazing episode. I'm going to show you how to make a tapas party that feeds four people for just 15 bucks. This includes four different Spanish tapas dishes and a pitcher of sangria. Yes, you heard that correctly. There's a pitcher of sangria included in all of this for just 15 bucks, guys. All these tapas dishes and that sangria have such an insane amount of Spanish flavor. It's all so easy to make. Let's dive right in. For our first tapas dish, we are making roasted potatoes with a spicy mayo alioli. This is seriously such an insanely delicious tapas dish loaded with Spanish flavors and made with the simplest ingredients. This dish comes out to $2.37. You guys will find the price breakdowns for each recipe in the description box below. I'm going to begin by cutting two medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes into half-inch pieces. These have already been washed and patted dry. I like to cut each potato into four evenly sized quarters. Cut each quarter right down the middle and into half-inch pieces. And as you're cutting your potatoes, add them into a large bowl. And as you guys can see, I left the skins on the potato. This gives this dish a beautiful rustic flavor. Then I'm going to pour in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil over the potatoes. Season them with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to toss this together until it's well combined. Like I always tell you guys, this is such an important step. That way that olive oil and those seasonings are evenly distributed through each piece of potato. Next, I'm going to add the potatoes into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper and make sure they're all in a single layer. That way they all roast evenly. And I'm gonna add our potatoes into a preheated oven, bake and boil option, 250 degrees Celsius, 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if your oven doesn't have the bake and boil option, no big deal, just bake them for the exact same amount of time I'm cooking these and then add them to the broiler between two to three minutes. While our potatoes are roasting in the oven, let's make our spicy mayo alioli. I'm going to add in a generous half cup of mayonnaise into a bowl. Then I'm going to shred in a large clove of garlic. Squeeze in a generous half teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Add in half a teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika. This is what's going to give this sauce that spicy kick. One tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and season it with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to whisk this all together until it's well combined. Like I always tell you guys, look how easy it is to make these mayo aliolis, but the flavors of them are going to completely blow you away. All right, let's move back to our potatoes. They've been in the oven for exactly 20 minutes and they should be perfectly roasted. I'm going to take them out of the oven Transfer the potatoes into a shallow bowl. Add in a generous portion of our spicy mayo alioli. And I'm going to sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley, guys. Our first tapas dish is done. Look how beautiful this dish looks. You've got those roasted potatoes. They have an incredible texture. And that spicy mayo alioli just takes it to the next level. Again, guys, this dish came out to $2.37. Full of flavors. So easy to make. For our second tapas dish, we are making spicy sauteed mushrooms with garlic. Once again, this is a very simple dish, but the flavors here are going to absolutely blow you away. We're talking the simplest ingredients, and this dish only comes together for $1.80. So easy to put together, done in under 20 minutes. I'm going to begin by grabbing 12 button mushrooms, cutting off a little bit from the stem, and cut each mushroom into four evenly sized quarters. And the secret here, guys, is make sure you cut all the mushrooms in the same size. That way they all cook evenly. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I'm going to finely mince four cloves of garlic. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm going to grab a nonstick frying pan and heat it with a medium high heat. Now the technique we're going to use to cook these mushrooms is called sauteing. We're not going to add fat into the pan until later on. We're going to heat this on a medium high heat for about three to four minutes. After heating the pan for four minutes, I'm going to add in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Swirl it around, that way it covers the entire surface of the pan. And add the mushrooms in there. 
and start mixing the mushrooms with the extra virgin olive oil. You don't have to mix this continuously, just get in there once in a while, that way they're all perfectly sauteed. Now you can mix these mushrooms around with a wooden spoon or you can use the traditional technique which is grabbing the pan and flipping the mushrooms around. Either way you go, it's perfectly fine, just make sure not to over mix them. After sauteing our mushrooms for two minutes and they have this beautiful golden color, you don't want to overcook them. I'm going to add in our minced garlics in there, a quarter teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika, and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to mix everything together until it's well combined. We're going to go between 15 to 20 seconds here. We don't want to overcook those garlics. We want it to be nice and aromatic. Remember, we are on a medium high heat. Once everything's well mixed, I'm going to remove the pan from the heat, transfer the mushrooms into a serving dish, and sprinkle the dish with some freshly chopped parsley, guys. Our second tapas dish is done. Again, look how incredible this looks and the flavors will completely blow you away. Now, I added in a quarter teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika. That's enough spice for me. If you want these to be ultra spicy, add in a half teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika. Either way, this dish is gonna blow you away and the best part, done for only $1.88. For our third tapas dish, we're making a smaller version of una tortilla de patatas, the famous Spanish potato omelet. As always, this is one of the greatest things from the Spanish kitchen, made with just eggs and potatoes, but when you combine them together, it's an absolute explosion of flavors. So easy to make, done in under 30 minutes, and this comes together for only $1.87. I'm gonna begin by cutting two small Yukon Gold potatoes into small pieces that are about an eighth of an inch thick. These have already been peeled, washed, and patted dry. Once I have all the potatoes cut, I'm gonna transfer them into a saucepan, fill it with some cold water to about half an inch above the potatoes, and heat it with a high heat. While our potatoes are cooking, I'm going to crack four eggs into a large bowl and beat the eggs until they're well combined. All right, let's move back to our potatoes. It's been about 12 to 13 minutes since we turned on the heat. These should be perfectly cooked. You kind of want them al dente. You can always get in there and pierce them with a toothpick. If they easily go in, but with a little resistance, they are perfectly cooked. I'm going to remove these from the heat drain the water from the potatoes, making sure to shake off any excess water in the potatoes, add them into the bowl with the eggs, and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to mix this all together until it's well combined. All right, for the final step of the recipe, I'm gonna grab a small nonstick frying pan, heat it with a low medium heat, and add in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Two minutes after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add the egg and potato mixture into the pan. And just get in there, give it a quick mix. That way everything's evenly divided. After about three minutes, I'm going to run a spatula through the outer edges of the pan to ensure that the tortilla is not sticking to the pan, guys. Very important to use a good quality nonstick frying pan when you're making a Spanish tortilla. Five minutes after adding the egg and potato mixture into the pan, it's time to flip it. You know, it takes different times with different pans and different fires, so keep an eye on it. I'm going to use a plate that's a little bit bigger than the pan, slide it over the pan, flip it and slide the uncooked part of the tortilla back into the pan. Now using a spatula, I'm gonna gently push down on the tortilla, that way everything's evenly divided. And once again, I'm gonna run a spatula through the outer edge of the pan, but this time using the back of the spatula and compacting the tortilla. This is what gives it that beautiful rounded edge. After a total cooking time of 10 minutes, that's five minutes per side, this tortilla should be ready to be served. I'm gonna remove it from the heat 
and I'm gonna slide the tortilla into a serving dish, guys. Our third tapas dish is done. Such an insanely delicious dish, made with the simplest ingredients. I know it's just eggs and potatoes, but when you combine them together, it's an absolute flavor bomb. This is one of the gifts to the food world from Spain. So easy to make, done in under 30 minutes, and the best part, this came together for only $1.87. For our fourth tapas dish, we are making fried artichokes with garlic. Again, we're gonna be using very simple ingredients here, but the flavors are gonna completely blow you away. We're using canned artichokes, garlic, and extra virgin olive oil to create a tapas dish that is gonna completely knock it out of the ballpark. Very affordable ingredients, comes together in under 20 minutes, and it's all done for only $2.39. I'm gonna begin by grabbing a 14 ounce can of artichoke hearts and draining it into a sieve with a bowl underneath and make sure you give it a gentle shake to remove any of the excess liquid in the artichoke hearts. Then I'm gonna add the artichoke hearts on top of some paper towels and pat them completely dry. You wanna be gentle here, that way they don't break apart. And this is a very important step, that way when we fry them in the extra virgin olive oil, they're gonna be full of flavor. And for the next ingredient, I'm gonna grab three large cloves of garlic, and thinly slice them. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna grab a small nonstick frying pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm gonna add in the artichoke hearts in there and gently mix them around with the extra virgin olive oil. You don't have to mix these continuously. Just get in there once in a while. That way they don't burn and they all cook evenly. Now while we're cooking our artichoke hearts, you can use the pan to move them around. If you're uncomfortable with that technique, no big deal. Just get in there with a wooden spoon. Either way, just make sure that you're gentle with them. That way they don't break apart. About five to six minutes after adding the artichokes into the pan, and they have this beautiful light golden color to them. You don't want to overcook them. I'm gonna add in the sliced garlics in there. And start mixing the garlics around with the artichoke hearts at this point. You do want to mix this continuously. That way those garlics don't burn. Just remember to be gentle here. That way those artichokes don't break apart. Two minutes after adding the garlics into the pan and they have a beautiful light golden color to them. Again, you don't want to overcook these, otherwise it adds a bitter flavor to the dish. I'm gonna season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. I'm gonna give this a gentle mix, that way all the seasonings are evenly divided. Remove the pan from the heat. And I'm gonna transfer the artichoke hearts and the garlics into a serving dish, guys. Our fourth tapas dish is done. How easy was it to put this together? And once again, the flavors here are gonna completely blow you away. Those artichokes have an incredible texture to them. They're not over fried. And those garlics have beautiful lift of flavors. The simplest ingredients, easy to make, done in under 20 minutes. And the best part, it only costs $2.39. For our final recipe, we are making a pitcher of Spanish sangria. This is one of the easiest sangria recipes you will find, but promises to be one of the best ones you've ever tasted. Made with a very simple combination of fruits, it comes together within minutes. And you know what? A tapas party is not a tapas party without some sangria. The total price to make this sangria is six bucks, including the wine. Again, guys, you will find all the detailed information, how I came up with these prices in the description box below. I'm gonna begin by thinly slicing one orange, thinly slicing one lemon, and cutting half of a green apple into half inch squares. Once you have all your fruits cut up, I'm gonna be adding in three slices of the oranges into a pitcher, three slices of lemon, and our half apple that we cut into half inch cubes. Next up, I'm gonna grab some Spanish gas salsa and measure out one cup. This tastes very similar to 7-Up or Sprite. It just doesn't taste as sweet. And I'm gonna add in the one cup of gas salsa into the pitcher. Now I'm gonna grab a quarter cup of white sugar and add it into the pitcher. If you're using 7-Up or Sprite, only add two tablespoons as those drinks are a little bit sweeter than gas salsa. And I'm gonna get in there with a wooden spoon and mix this all around. That way all these flavors can come together. All 
All right, moving on to the star of the show, I've got a standard size bottle of Spanish red wine. I paid two euros for this here in Spain. This compares to about a $3 bottle of wine outside of Spain. You wanna use a young wine that's not too strong when you're making a sangria, like a Merlot or a young Tempranillo. And I'm gonna slowly pour in the red wine into the pitcher. And once again, I'm gonna give this a quick mix, that way all these flavors can come together. Once you have everything well mixed, our Spanish sangria is done, guys. How easy was it to put this together? And the flavors are so good. You know, here's a bit of advice. Don't add any ice into the pitcher. Otherwise, it's gonna water down the sangria. Instead, when you're serving the sangria, add the ice into the serving cups, guys. Such a beautiful sangria, so easy to make. Comes together for about $6. <laughs> That's it guys, all our tapas dishes and our pitcher of sangria are done. You guys saw how easy it was to put everything together and everything made with the simplest ingredients, but the best part of it all, it all came together for about 15 bucks guys. Make this at your next tapas party, it is gonna completely blow everybody away. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Robert Jefferson, AKA the Kamakura Gardener. Again, Robert, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you wanna support Spain on Forecom Patron, help me with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.